you can see Vancouver off in the distance, way over there. It's actually a clear enough day that with your naked eye, you can see the skyscrapers of Vancouver. Uh, in case you didn't know, I live in Nanaimo, which is uh, across the water on Vancouver Island. And you can see Vancouver just across the way. Um, you know, for those of you who don't know, and it should be obvious, but <laughs> I'm a huge sports fan. And I love hockey, I love football, basketball, um, golf, uh, soccer, or football as the uh, Europeans would say. Um, but you know, the big one for me is hockey, ultimately. And you might not know, but again, you should be able to tell that the Vancouver Canucks are my favorite team, uh, sports team bar none, hockey team, but sports team in general. Um, for me, hockey season is all year round because during the off season, I am, uh, I'm thinking about what they're gonna do, how they're gonna improve the team every year. And uh, this year has been a bit of a, a strange one, but we'll get into that. What I wanna talk about today ultimately is what, it, what is the reason behind fandom when it comes to sports teams? What is the reason behind you know, cheering for teams so, so much that it consumes your life. I have little kids at home, I've got a wife, um, you know, there are other things I could be worrying about, but, but I'm gonna try my best to explain in this video why I love the Vancouver Canucks so much that it literally is a year-round thing. So a lot of my memories come from places like this. Uh, basketball court or uh, hockey court and this is what for those of you Americans this is basically what you're looking at you got a hockey court basketball court there's another basketball court um, these are what we grow up with in Canada we've got all sorts of uh, places to play basketball I know you guys have a lot of places to play basketball too but here hockey courts <laughs> this is where kids come in Canada and we play hockey you know, this is a school specifically. So here they play hockey, you know, recess, lunch, uh, when school's over, before school starts, kids are here at the hockey court playing hockey. And this is what I did when I was a kid too. It, uh, it's where my love of the sport began, basically. So my story goes back to the year 1994, specifically. And this is when my fandom for the Vancouver Canucks blew up. In 1994, the Vancouver Canucks made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Final against the New York Rangers, where they would lose in Game 7 by one goal. It was heartbreaking. And I don't know what it is about heartbreak specifically, but when they lost that game, and I cried my eyes out because... They had given everything to win that cup. When they lost that game, it's like I fell in love with the team even more because everybody loves an underdog. Well, here I am like 30 years later and this team is still breaking my heart every year, but I still love them more than you know. clear my fandom of the Vancouver Canucks actually began when I was much younger than 12. I used to watch Hockey Night in Canada with my grandpa all the time when I was a, a kid and uh, watching the Canucks make it to the Stanley Cup final back in 94 just grew my fandom. Probably one of the toughest, if not the toughest season for Vancouver Canucks fans is 2010-2011. The team wins the President's Trophy, which is the trophy given to the team with the most points in the regular season. Uh, they've never had that happen before. And the team makes it all the way to Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final, only to lose 4-0 to the Boston Bruins. That was a tough one. The Canucks should have won that, should have won that series, should have won the Stanley Cup that year but something just wouldn't let it happen. And uh, that was a tough one for Vancouver Canuck fans. And I still think about it to this day. The current Canucks, they find a way to win 
uh, at the end of the season when it doesn't mean much. So that's the thing we are dealing with now is a team that can't seem to find its identity until the end of the season. It's really frustrating for us fans because ultimately we're, we just want to win the draft lottery. We want to get a player that's going to impact this team and make it that much better. But when you are, I think what the problem is, is this team is just good enough to be where they're at. And actually, I think ultimately they're better than what they're showing this season. But for some reason, their structure just wasn't working. So they switched coaches at the in the middle of the season and actually closer to the end of the season. And they've all of a sudden figured out how to win. And that's exactly what's happening now. So this is what we're dealing with as fans now. It's like we can't seem to figure out what the identity of this team is. What do they want? Where are they going to be in the future? And that's what we're going to talk about. Over these 50 years for the Canucks, it has been challenging being a fan, I won't lie. I mean, it's not easy being a fan of a team that has never won the Stanley Cup in 50 years. The heartbreak is what has caused me to love this team more, believe it or not. It's the fact that they keep letting me down <laughs> that I keep coming back going, maybe there's a chance next year. Maybe there's a chance next year. And here we are. 50 years later, and they're still where they're at. So I know a lot of negativity seems to be following this team uh, as of late or up to this point. I mean, nothing but heartbreak over the last 50 years. But my thought process is now, um, as I'm seeing this team develop, uh, current team develop to become something bigger and better, um, I think this team is trending upwards. I think there's a lot of positivity now following this team. Um, and I, I have a lot to look forward to as a fan. So for me, I really do think that in a couple of years, they will be contending again for a Stanley Cup. I'm sure a lot of people out there, especially other Canuck fans, uh, are thinking to themselves, this guy's an idiot, doesn't know what he's talking about. But, I, but this is coming from somebody who has followed the team his entire life. So know this, as much as I see a lot of the bad things that are happening with the team, I still have a lot of faith because that's what being a fan is all about. I love this team and I will always love this team and I will always follow this team because they're my team. Maybe you feel the same way. Maybe you don't. Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> that didn't work. Try that again. This elevator takes a long time. <laughs>